Hey guys, how's it going? So, we're gonna look at a little bit of the uh, the new update that's going on with Destiny. Uh, as you can see, I'm on as my hunter, and uh, yeah, so let's see what's new. What's different? Okay, as you can see from this screen, the uh, character screen, things do look a little different, mainly. What's going on with this? Okay, this is the light now. The light is uh, average of ac attack and defense values all across all currently equipped gear. Higher light means you've got better damage output and uh, a better defense so derp um, so I've seen I did see one dude rolling around and I think he had a 166 so he was pretty he was looking pretty tough so I, I don't think that it's like I, I think I'm at a pretty good level right now um, and again the Taken King has not come out yet but let's look at what else has uh, changed up uh, what, before uh, before I had logged on and the update had gone through, I was working on a job to get um, this, Thorn, the hand cannon. I always liked the way that this pistol looked, so I really wanted it. I thought, this thing looks pretty badass. And it's fucking huge for a pistol. I mean, it's basically a sawed-off shotgun. But, uh, yeah, so when I logged back in, they just gave it to me. No kidding. They just gave me the damn gun. I didn't have to do anything for it. I was kind of surprised by that. I did not expect them to just give me a gun, and uh, that's what they did. But they didn't just do that. Uh, I also went through, and I was working on another mission to get another gun called Bad Juju, which I gave to one of my other characters, uh, which is a uh, it's a pulse rifle thing. It's got a really cool like bird skull on the end of the uh, gun barrel. And they just gave me that, too, because I was working on the job before the update went through. So, I'm not sure why they did that, but that's what they did. So, that's pretty cool. I mean, that means that I didn't have to go through all the bullshit to get them, because uh, I would have had to have fight through the Crucible, and I hate fighting in the Crucible. It drives me nuts. Shayla just walked in, and she looks gorgerific. Love your hair. So, what else is new? What else have they changed? Okay, one big difference is now these cloaks, uh, the... Uh, the hunters wear the cloaks, the titans wear the marks, and the warlocks, they wear the bonds. Well, before they didn't do shit, they were just, you know, they were cosmetic. Now, they actually do shit. You can see, this one has defense to it. 140 defense. Um, let's go look at my, my little, my little vault thingy. My little locker. Whatever the hell it is. Um. Running, 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 running. Come on, run slightly faster. Any time now. Okay, here we go. Here's the vault thingy. Whatever that is. So, uh, yeah, all of these ones that are you know brightly colored, that means I can wear them because these are my, these are for a hunter. So you'll see that these things, like right there, it says 30 defense. This one says 130. This is 140. This is 20. 30. 135. So on and so forth. Uh, the one that I I would usually roll with is this one, the uh, plus clo blah, cloak of the Dusk Torn, which is 130 defense, and it's got a very Japanese kind of look to it. Um, the the symbol in particular is very Japanese. Um, but now, like with the other one that I have on, well, it has a higher defense on it, the Wet Work Cloak. Which don't get me wrong, I love the Wet Work Cloak. Cloak. I love the fact that it says this passage intentionally redacted. That's kind of funny because I do wet work. But um, yeah, now there's like, like if I wanted to wear, see one of them that I liked before was this one, Cloak of the Leopard. It's pretty cool. It's all camo looking and you know, it says legend says no, no animal was more difficult to hunt than the leopard. But now I got no reason whatsoever to wear this because it's got 20 fucking defense. I mean, my guy might as well just put like, you know, cover himself in saran wrap. So, that kind of blows that they did that, but at the same time, it's also kind of good, because before, you know, they, like I said, these, uh, these cloaks, these marks, this is a mark, and here's one of the bonds, uh, you know, they were literally, they were only cosmetic, at least now they have a purpose, but how they, you know, figured out which ones do what is well beyond me, I don't know. Uh, let's look at one other thing real quick here. Um, these, the ghost shells. So now, um, now these actually have a purpose. Again, just like the, the, the cosmetic thing with the cloaks, that's gone. Now these ghost shells actually have a reason. Uh, this one, 
Well, this is kind of a crap thing. The Texan marks nearby relic iron formation. I don't really need that, but it does give you defense. So, and it also gives you a tiny little stat boost. There's strength and uh, there's intellect. So that's pretty good. I mean, you know, that that's helpful. It's certainly helpful. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Now I have an emote uh, point there. So now my guy goes like that, which is exactly what he used to do before. Uh, I don't know why they fucked they felt like this was necessary to put in here, but whatever. Um, what else has changed? Um, over here with this guy. Yes. Uh, Banshee, Thank 44. You. This guy. So now you got these uh, these new weapons that are says it says field test weapons. Okay, so what's that shit all about? Well. If you read underneath where it says the attack, 150 attack, Omelon prototype, using the Crucible to gather data for Omelon's weapon developers. Well, that means I have to use it in the Crucible. No thanks, I don't do that. 150 attack, Hockey prototype, make precision shots with this weapon to gather data for Hockey's armament scientists. Okay. Uh, Suros prototype, used against high ranking enemies to field data for the Suros research Devel uh, department. I'm assuming they mean kill yellow level guys. Uh, make double kills with this weapon to gather data for Hake's armament scientists. I don't really know how easy it is to make double kills with any gun, but I suppose if you're going to do it with any gun, it should be with a sniper rifle. Or with a rocket launcher, for that matter. Uh, using the crucible to... Nope, not going to do it. Don't want to... I don't bother with the crucible. Uh, let's see what they look like, too. Come on. Eh, it looks... Actually, it looks much more realistic than what other, like, guns that they have. Standard sniper zoom, highlights enemies with low health, oh, that's cool. Reduces the severity of the weapon's recoil. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So, that's a new thing. I haven't tried that yet, but I am going to try it soon. Uh, we'll see what happens with that shit. Uh, as far as down there, where all the, uh, the, the hunter boss, um, who is Nathan Fillion, and, um, the warlock boss, who is, uh, Oh god, Gina Torres, and the Titan boss, who I know who he is, but I cannot remember his name from top, off, off the top of my head. Forgive me, I'm so sorry. He is a great actor, I love the guy, but I cannot remember his name right now. They're all still there. Things have not changed too much, but let's look at uh, what's going on with, with, with uh, Bill Knight, You've returned. Uh, or the speaker. So, before he would sell... The dark you know, cosmetic shit, season. now he doesn't. Now he sells these things, which is the ghost shells, which is, you know, I got... Yeah, this is the one that I got, the Verdant Shell. So, yeah. But he doesn't shell, he doesn't, no, he doesn't sell, do the, like, the Titan Marks. He doesn't sell the, uh, the, the, the Hunter Cloaks, the Warlock Bonds anymore. Which I think sucks. I don't like that they took that out, because, um, that was something that made you different. That was something that made you, you know, stand out a little bit. Um, and now that's gone. Uh, and if you're wondering where this chick is that's always over here, what's her name, Erin or Eris? Uh, well, I know where she is. She's over here. So don't worry, she is still here and all her gloomy bullshit, you know, telling everybody, oh god, we're all gonna die. Eris, there she is. So now they gave her like a little... Everything you Whatever, lady. Now they gave her a nice little place to set up, so that's cool. Um, uh, this stuff... Oh, I here's sure. Let's see if there's anything new here. Anything good? Uh, what is this? No land beyond. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to definitely get that. Uh, how much does that cost? Twenty-three. Yeah, I want that. Uh, I will definitely be grabbing that. I may. Um, so these guys are pretty much the same. Let's see. Let's get to it, Guardian. Yeah, it's the same shit. Just you know, you gotta have these uh, crucible marks and. Well, that's about it. So Get out there. They haven't changed. Uh, and then the big boss is in here. They haven't changed. Um, let's see. Yeah, same shit. This is actually the cloak that I'm wearing right now, the wet work cloak. Um, yeah, so this shit's all basically... <coughs> excuse me. Basically the same. Uh, I do have... Let's show you this. We have a new quest page, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm working on this job right now, Path of the Gunslinger, which I got from Cade, whatever his name is. You can see at the top there it says Cade's Challenge. And what I gotta do in order to, to finish this bullshit is, 
Uh, complete a strike using the golden gun to kill at least three major enemies and at least 15 enemies in total. So three major enemies, those are the yellow guys, which, you know, they don't get dropped usually by just one shot with the golden gun. Um, and 15 enemies total, so yeah, that's... Uh, it's not impossible, it's just going to be a little rough. But, uh, yeah, I'll get that done. Because I do have... Um, I do have this one helmet. Actually, I'll show you because I saw that, uh, what's his name over here? The guy who always plays, uh, Fred Tedescore, who always does, uh, the Hulk. Uh, he was selling this right here, yeah. Celestial Nighthawk. I actually have this, so what this does right here is delivering, uh, yeah, it makes it so that you only fire one shot instead of three, but that one shot does six times damage, so I will, I will get that shit done. Um... Yeah, so let's look back on the quest page. What else have they changed here? Well, before you could only do, you could only get, uh, have up to 10 bounties. Uh, now you can get up to 16 at a time. So that's pretty cool. Um, they got all this room for quests and shit, but I've pretty much finished the story with all three of my characters, so I don't really have any quests other than, like, do the path of whatever. Um, anything else? Inventory. No, this is all the same. Oh, I know one thing that I want to show real quick. Uh, yeah, this way. Let's, uh, head on up. This is, uh, something that I just saw before and is really annoying the shit out of me. Okay, so, uh, what is it? General? Yes. Okay, so now, whenever you pick up green items, which, you know, you immediately, immediately want to get rid of because nobody in their right mind wants to use the green level items, they're all garbage. And nobody really wants to use the blue ones either, because they're all shit, too. When you break them down, you get this. Armor materials. Uh, plating, wire, and materials used to upgrade guardian armor. Wonderful! So, I have, as you can see, this is for the hunter. Uh, favorite of hunters because of his versatility, this wire is incorporated in almost all hunter gear. I have over 1,300 of these things. They're useless now. Don't need them at all. Thanks, game! Uh, this is for the uh, Titan, Plasteel Plating... And this is for the Warlock, the hard, uh, Hadronic Essence. Again, useless, because it doesn't matter which character you're playing as, whenever you break down shit, it turns into this crap. So, yeah, I don't need this garbage anymore. Yay! So, I worked my ass off to get all this shit in the game, and now they're useless. Which is pretty much what I've seen with uh, these things. Ascended Energy, Ascended Shard... And I think even these, too. Vanguard Commendation. I don't really see any... Uh, too much call for these, either. So, wonderful. Uh, as you can see, it looks like we got more space. A lot more space. i uh, picked up quite a few guns now. Uh, everything that I got is either purple or yellow. Um, I actually... I got an extra one of the thorn, because I was working on that. Like I said before, I was on that job, and once I logged in they just gave it to me well I had two guys on that job so they just gave it to me twice so I was like all right fuck it I'll just hold on to another one I don't give a shit um okay all in all what do I think about this crap um eh. it, it, there's certainly some new shit to try out like especially the stuff here with Banshee uh with you know field testing those guns I'm not going to field test all of them because I don't care about the crucible at all but uh I don't know that looks pretty interesting However, is this enough right now to get me, like, really just chomping at the bit to get the Taken King? Not really. Especially not really since, um, it looks like right now the DLC for it is $40. No, I'm good. I'll, I'll pass on that for a while. Maybe when you lower the price to, let's say, $20 or something like that, then I might jump in on it. Um, but until that, no. I, I can live without the Taken King. Um... This shit's all the same. Uh, did I mention the thing with these guys over here? I don't think I did. Now, when you want to do jobs for those guys over there, like Dead Orbit, uh, Future War Cut, and War Cult, and whoever the other guys are, I can't remember. They give you these, or at least you gotta buy these. Dead Orbit. I bought one of these. Cost $2,500, and I think it lasts for a week. And, yeah, once per week. And, uh, it just automatically gives you some some points with them whenever you do shit so that's kind of cute um but yeah nothing else has really changed so like i said i'm not completely like sold on getting the taken king but i gotta run i'm good i'm done i will talk to you guys later bye bye